Welcome back everybody. So before we begin this new chapter, let's kind of reflect upon how we've arrived here. We start off defining religion, then learning to talk about religion, then remember the numinous? Yeah, we learned how religion began, how it formed with people way long time ago. Now what we can talk about are those people who founded different religions. So this chapter is about founders and manifestations. So who are founders and manifestations? They're the people, the human beings, through whom these new religious insights came. Now, you'll notice here that religious founders can be divided into two basic categories, legendary and historical. Now, I always like to take just a, a few minutes to talk about the difference in this classification. By legendary, the authenticity is uncertain. What that means is that people who are legendary, their authenticity is not confirmed by the historical record. And this is because these founders lived such a long time ago, it's actually part of prehistory. In other words, history in terms of humanity is a relatively new thing. So the founders of indigenous or native religions, such as the founders of the different Native American faiths here in North America, this happened such a long time ago and people you know back then didn't have a written language, therefore who founded it, we don't know, because it's lost. Likewise, the founders of Hinduism. Who founded Hinduism? Well, we know that someone did, right? It had to come about somehow, so somebody did, but who it was, we don't know. Why? Because it was such a long time ago. Now, the third bullet point is one that people often raise their eyebrows at and they go, you got to be kidding me, Mr. K. Now, Moses. Moses is classified as a legendary founder. Not because he wasn't an actual person, he was an actual person, but the only time you can find Moses recorded is in Scripture. So that's why Moses is classified as legendary. So again, legendary means that authenticity is uncertain because it's not part of the historical record. Now, the second classification, you'll notice historical. That's the, the key difference. So other founders, they are part of the historical record. Siddhartha Gautama, who became the Buddha, Confucius, Jesus of Nazareth, as well as the prophet Muhammad. These are not only actual people, but actual historical people. So what that means is that Siddhartha, Confucius, Jesus of Nazareth, the prophet Muhammad, their authenticity is confirmed not only by scripture but by the historical record so this is kind of this is really exciting it's, it's it's really cool that these people are confirmed by documents outside of the religions that they founded which is really cool so now what this means if you ever bump into somebody and the person says, what, you're a Christian? Well, that's stupid. 
because Jesus of Nazareth wasn't real, he's just made up. Now, a statement like that is a statement of ignorance. And what ignorance is defined as, it is a condition of not knowing. For example, I am ignorant of calculus. What does that mean? I don't know anything about calculus. Now, so to go back to that, that earlier example, when people make statements like that, they're, they're confused. Okay? What they're trying to do is they're trying to discount the teachings of these people. But by saying that they were not real is a false statement. Likewise, you may be a Christian, but you cannot discount that Siddhartha Gautama, Confucius, as well as the Prophet Muhammad were not real people. They were actual people, just like, just like you and me, right? They had flesh and blood. Now, whether or not you want to recognize and follow their teachings in these different religions is up to you. So we have to be sure that we make that, you know, that difference there. Good. So now, as we take a look here, continuing talking about founders and manifestations, is that these founders can be classified as either a prophet, a sage, or an incarnation. So we'll talk more about prophets in the next lecture.